focus on business interests, not negotiating positions, means that you have to look behind the positions that people have when they come into negotiations. Everybody starts negotiating with a position. This is what I want out of this negotiation. And what lies underneath those positions is a whole set of business interests that represent their actual needs. So you separate the needs from the wants and address the fundamental needs, those underlying interests. And in that way, most of the negotiating positions can be met. They're never all met, and everybody understands that. You don't get everything you want, but if you address those key needs, those underlying interests, uh, you can come to a deal. De-escalating the conflict is really important if you can do it. Any kind of conflict situation tends to escalate as the situation continues. The longer people go on not agreeing, um, arguing over, uh, over positions, uh, arguing over what they want, it tends to escalate and the rhetoric gets a little more heated. And if you can de-escalate that by focusing on what people really need, why they're saying what they're saying, what they're really looking for, rather than just the demands that they're making, then you can start to be more constructive in how you meet those. You have to consider all the available options when you're negotiating because Oftentimes you come into a set of negotiations with some preconceived notions, some expectations, an idea about what the other person wants, uh, and you may be wrong. You may not really understand what they're looking for, and you may not understand all of the options that are available to you either. So if you're open-minded in the negotiations, if you're open to new ideas and new options and willing to consider them, you may end up with a much better deal than you thought you could get in the first place. We talk about win-win solutions and sometimes that seems uh, very uh, wishful thinking. Not everything lends itself to a win-win solution. Some things are win-lose. I get more, you get less, you get more, I get less. But not everything's like that. There's a lot of things where you can find a win-win solution. There's opportunities to make the pie bigger instead of just cutting it up into more pieces. You can use a neutral party to break an impasse because the neutral party brings a new dynamic to the situation. Often the impasse arises simply because people become entrenched in their positions and they're not looking at the underlying interests and they're not looking for ways to, to be creative. What the neutral party can do is come in and start to build a rapport and communications with both parties, exchange some ideas, put new ideas on the table that nobody needs to commit to uh, until they look at them all. So there's a whole new range of options available from the neutral party. And it's easier if the neutral party puts those forward and the negotiating parties can shoot them down, tear them apart, put them back together in ways that suit them. But that often can be enough to break the impasse and start the discussion going again.